Okay, so I'm going to ask this question out here to people, and I want to know if any of you have had the same problem. Like when when I go through this, are you, uh, you, you just let me know, come in the comments below if this resonates or not. And basically the question is this, have you ever not liked a comic book, not liked the story, and it, you just don't like it? And when you say you don't like the story, you get thrown into a bigger blender of, oh, you must hate the author or you must be part of a cabal of anti-comic fans, what else? And you're thinking to yourself, I just didn't like this effing comic. What's going on here? Is this happened to you? Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, every year, there are 2,000 plus comics produced. Probably much more than that, actually, come to think of it. I'm doing the math all wrong. Probably around 2,500 comics, graphic novels uh, produced. And that's not even counting web comics and all the rest of that stuff. So of those comics, you're not going to like all of them. Right? I mean, I don't think that's a controversial, weird statement. I think you're, you're not going to like some of those comics. Hopefully you like some of them. I think it's a safe bet to assume you, there's some of those comics you're going to enjoy and some of those comics you won't. And that's just the way it goes. And, but it feels to me like there is a, a new dynamic where if you don't like a comic and you say so, that like there's no, there's no acceptance. There's no, and now, by the way, I'm not just, just for reference. I'm not talking about you know, like you pick up a Donny Cates comic and you dislike it. And then you go on Twitter and you, you at Donny Cates and you say, this comic was the worst pile of crap I've ever seen. I, I burned it in fire and then fed the ashes to a gerbil and then killed the gerbil. And damn you, Donny Cates. I, like, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that kind of criticism. I'm talking about you picked it up, you disliked it. You went online and you're like, I didn't like this issue, or I thought this issue was boring, or I thought it was terrible. You don't, you know, you're not tagging in the creator. You're not going on some kind of anti-comic book jihad. You're not filming a video uh, the, of, of the comic book being shot into space or anything. You're just, you're just saying, I don't like it. I thought it was boring. Or maybe you say, I thought it sucked. You know, whatever it is. You're just, you're stating your opinion. And, and then you get people coming in going, oh, you're one of those. You're, you're a white supremacist because you don't like Donny Cates. Or, and then, then the battle begins. Has that ever happened to you? I, um, I read all the comics. I, I mean, not, not all, but I think most. I think I, I will say I read 80% of the comics that are out. I get them all. Uh, less, less now that the shop is closed, but when the shop was open, it was like everything that came in the door, one way or another, I read it. And I've read crowdfunding books. I've read, you know, romance comics, religious comics, Marvel, DC, European, manga. I've read it all. So much so that my head is probably this jumbled mess of comics where I'm lucky I remember most of the storylines that I do. But if, you know, if everybody hears me make mistakes from time to time, that, that's part of the clue of why. Just, they're all crammed in there, bumping into each other. Well, and senility. I, I guess I have that to look forward to. But, um, but for example... I thought that Iron Man 2020 was awful. And if you've been listening to the channel and everything else, you, you saw my reviews on that. Um, and I, I will say, in all honesty, you can believe me or not believe me, um, I picked up to do those reviews and I committed that I would do every issue of that series. I didn't do the tie-ins, God help us all. Uh, but it was the first event Marvel did of 2020. And I said, I'm going to review this whole thing. And I committed and I did it. It was clear by issue number two that this was not going to go well. Uh, but I, I stuck with it. I didn't like that comic. Uh, my dislike for that comic um, has nothing to do with what I think of Dan Slott as a person or, you know, if, if he's a, an awful person or any of that. It's just it was literally the comic equals bad for me. Didn't like it. Didn't didn't care for it. Um, I've read Dan Slott stuff before. I thought his Silver Surfer work with uh, Allred was was good. Um, I think his She-Hulk stuff was pretty good. His Spider-Man run was kind of all over the place. I think some of that is him. Some of that's the editor. Some of that's uh, the status quo of the character. Um, I, I have not liked his Fantastic Four either. But my dislike for the Iron Man event and for the Fantastic Four has absolutely nothing to do with Dan Slott, the human being. It has to do with the words and the story on the page. 
Uh, I, Dan Slot is notorious for blocking a ton of people. He's run blockchains on on many people. And I, I think I am blocked on one account and not blocked on the other. So happy days, uh, I guess. Uh, but none of that has anything to do with a comic for me. And I think I can say that with honesty. Now, to be fair, I think in the back of your head, when you're reading a comic, if you have some dislike for the creator or something else, it's hard not to be influenced or have that kind of you know, whispering in the back of your mind. That's that whole separate the art from the artist thing. Um, but generally speaking, uh, whenever I feel like I'm really disliking a comic, I have a little you know, subroutine that goes on in my brain that goes, uh, hey, is this because the writer is annoying you? Um, it's funny because I've done all these videos and I've been very careful about this. The the creators that I act to actually dislike, that I've had in person really, really dislike, um, I, I don't I rarely mention, and, and in one case, I know one guy has never been mentioned on this channel that I absolutely despise every core of my being. And that's intentional. I, I don't want to open up that door to that person, but people can pry it out of me another time. Anyway, um, I, 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 whenever I feel like I'm hating a comic, I always ask myself, is this because of my feelings toward the creator? And if it is, I try and stop reading it, move on for a while, be able to come back objectively, or I say, I'm not going to review this online. I don't want to, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this to myself or to others. I don't want to have to defend my dislike for a comic and know that I'm on shaky ground because it's not the comic I'm mad about, but the creator. In that case, I'd rather just review the creator. But has it happened to you? Because it's happened to me a decent amount where I say, I don't like you know, this, con I don't like the Fantastic Four relaunch. I, I just think it's poor. I can give you reasons why. And people are like, well, you just hate Dan Slott or uh, you're just trying to cater to the comic skate people. They don't like Dan Slott or whatever it might be. And it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 I find myself in a dumb argument at that point. Um, uh, Tom King is, a, is a, maybe even a much better example. So I thought Rorschach number one was fine. Um, I, I thought not a lot happened, kind of a detective story, but it, it was fine. Um, I think Strange Adventures is poor. It's poor characterization. I don't like the way it's being told. I think that there's issues in the Batman run by Tom King that are fine. And I think there's others that were pretty bad. Um, I don't think that there was a, a huge highlight moment in there for me. But, you know, I, I it was, there was definitely parts of it that were not bad. Um, I think Mr. Miracle was a, it was a story not for me. It wasn't I necessarily loved it or hated it. It just, it did it was it was one that didn't move the needle for me. Hated Heroes in Crisis. Uh, just up and down, a lot of very, very uh, lame, tired storytelling tropes, uh, terrible characterization, just hated that series. Loved Vision. I liked Vision a lot. I thought that was a, a really good, solid comic. And, you know, I, so there, it, it's, a, it's a mixed bag. Probably more dislike than like, but... You know, I'm, I'm judging the work. Tom King, the human being, um, you know, in, in person, I've had very good experiences and I've had two clunky experiences. Um, never a really bad experience. I think Tom King's one of those people that in person is usually pretty friendly and pretty decent um, of a person, um, at least from my experience. Uh, but, but anyway, but there you go. But have you, you know, do you fall into this trap right now? For example, um, I, there's some comics being made in the Ten of Swords line and, and other places that I just don't think are very good. But I have nothing against your creator. In some cases, I'm good friends with the creator or I like the creators uh, very much. And it's always awkward when you're friends with the creator and you don't like something they've done. Um, and to the contrary, there's a couple creators that I'm friends with or I, I, I get along quite well with and I've loved everything they've done. And I always feel like this this pressure to convince the creator, like, no, I'm not just kissing your ass. I actually do like all of your books. Um, but the, the, the part that I wanted to kind of put out, put the question out to you on is, um, is this happening to you where you just don't like a book and you just want to try and explain to people, guys, it, this has, I, I'm not, I'm not going into a war with the creator. Please do not lump me into the, all that other shit. It's just this book. I don't like I just don't like this book. I don't like what was done. I don't like how the characters were handled. I just don't like it. Is that you? Uh, have you had this happen? Who are those people? I, I think there are a handful of creators like Tom King, uh, like uh, Dan Slott, probably Al Ewing fits in there a little bit. Gail Simone. Um, I, I don't know. There's Aunt Mags Visaggio probably is in there. I don't know. There's just a handful of creators that have become 
like lightning rods for people uh, either just, just they assume you're either hating them or you're loving them for reasons that have nothing to do with the book. But at the end of the day, the book counts. There's, there's Mags Visaggio comics uh, that I think were solid. I think Attorney Girl was solid. There's others that I disliked that I thought were, were poor versions of that story. Um, you know, I'm not now, now please, this video is not a separate the art from the artist conversation. It's not, you should not pay attention to creators. Don't, don't come at me with that. It's purely a, uh, have you had the experience of just disliking a comic because the comic was bad? And then did you enter into a goofy ass argument with somebody because they, they want to take you in the direction of, of the creator or some sign of social war? Let me know in the comments below. Who are those creators? What are those books? Has this happened to you? Am I talking crazy? Let me know. Otherwise, hey, like, subscribe, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Thanks for listening.